The thing about sharing a cubicle with someone is that you end up spending more time together than you do with your actual family. You gotta get up early to get the time, apparently. Kim and I worked next to each other in the New York Times dining section for so long that we became what we called work wives. We were life partners, including not only the love and support, but also the squabbling and getting on each other's nerves. Have a good one. You too. He's funny. She's an earnest Midwesterner. I'm a sarcastic native New Yorker. She's the born reporter who's out there pounding the pavement. I'm the storyteller who prefers to stay home and read. It was our job to talk about food all day, but we could never agree about anything. The best way to roast a chicken, what flour to use for biscuits, even what words to use to describe a cheese. We drove each other and our coworkers crazy. Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> oh, nice pedicure. Don't you look for that. With us, it's always a cook fight. Yeah, How much I, garlic uh, are you putting in there? Twelve cloves. Don't trick me. Are you having you tricked me? Am I giving you the wrong amount? I would not stoop. Alright, so goodbye. Low. Okay, so I'm doing this southern pork vindaloo thing, which I know you think is crazy. No, seriously. Here's the thing about Julia that always intimidates me. It was either this or Indian version of uh, chicken and waffles. I think she's smarter than me. The best thing about Kim is that she works so hard. But I'm wily, I'm tough, I'm a street fighter. It's also the worst thing about her because she drives herself crazy. She drives everybody around her crazy. But seriously, she is so smart. It makes me crazy. This is why you shouldn't make things I've never made before. <laughs> it's called recipe testing, have you heard of it? <laughs> You'll notice who's been cooking this whole time. <laughs> All right. And who's been going, what? I'm out of here. You know what? People like really good food. If you make versions of familiar stuff but make it really well, that blows them away just as much. So why stress out? So Moskin, what you're doing, let's see, you're doing, oh, a salad? All right. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to do that over a bowl so you catch the juice and use it for something else? Nope. So, you and your Norwegian thriftiness. <laughs> During the years when I was the Times restaurant critic, when I would come into the office, my desk was between Julia's and Kim. So I was right there in the crossfire. Um, at times it felt good and I thought of myself as the prosciutto between their two halves of ciabatta. At times though it would get heated because these are competitive ladies and I'm... Um, yeah, what's my style? Pretty, pretty, <laughs> and yours is pretty too. Oh my God, too much pressure. <laughs> I'm not gonna say we ever had to call the police, but I, w I will say I was in therapy for a few years. Wow, it looks just like takeout. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing about cooking with someone else is it makes you a better cook. I think, and cooking with Julia has made me a much better cook. Partially because I always wanted to be better than you. I have had Kim cook for me and it was splendiferous. I have had Julia cook for me and it was marvelous. And as I say that, my heart begins to race because I can hear each of them. They're not here, but if they were here, they'd be saying who was better and I'm not going to get drawn into that. Is this your recipe? <laughs> what, is this too good? It's too good. <laughs> you. After reading and cooking from Cook Fight, you can decide. All right, uh, we need a manager. We do have a manager. It's called the New York Times. The New York Times. Times. The New York Times. The New York Times. Yeah. The New York Times. Yeah. That's not a catchphrase. There. 